doing a headlining tour over here in the clubs or we're not even we're not sure what we're doing yet. Yeah. Not hundred percent sure. We're definitely gonna be over here doing something, whether we're headlining or like supporting a bigger band. It's still like all up in the air. Okay. Well, as a band, I, I mean, if you're just yourself, but what do you think? What's the most important thing for you to convey to your fans? Is it just you know, like as maybe what your band stands for? Is it to you know just have fun, believe in your believe in yourself, or is there certain messages that you want to get out to your fans or? Um, I would say for the most part, just like, for me, I would want everyone to like, just think of like the consequences, you know, like for your actions. Like, not that we're a band that gets up there and tells people like what to do. Right, right. Or anything. But even at our shows, our shows get pretty violent sometimes. For, and it's for the dumbest reasons. Like some kid will dance and he'll hit. Because we draw some metal dudes and we draw hardcore kids, so hardcore kids and metal kids sometimes don't like they don't mix well, and they're they're fighting over the dumbest thing, and basically they're fighting over we both really like your band, so yeah. now we're gonna fight. Yeah. It, right. And it's just kind of it's just dumb. All that shit is just stupid to me. I don't. I don't know. I just start thinking about how violent everything gets sometimes, and just like over. It. Yeah, it kind of makes it bad for everybody else, yeah, I guess. Even Ozfest, like, Ozfest is pretty violent. I watch, some of the kids I would just watch out there, I'm like, what are you doing? You're seriously just punching dudes. Yeah. See, that's what I don't understand. I mean, because I grew up in the 80s, and the pits were different now than they were then. I mean, now, back then, it was like, it was for fun. Everybody, you know, somebody fell, everybody got them right then and there. Now, a lot of times, it's like you see people stomping people and kicking people before yeah. they pick them up and stuff like that, so kind of bad for me to look at it sometimes yeah it's just I would like it I would love for our shows to just be like everybody smiling having a good time singing the words understanding what the like whether whether they get like what we were trying to what Candace writes pretty much all the lyrics but whether they get what exactly what she was trying to say a song or if they get their own meaning out of it you know as long as I think the lyrics are the most important thing like it what I do is irrelevant it doesn't even matter to me and any band that I get into, I usually get into them because I'll be like, oh, they got a cool sound. I'll like a song or two. But then if I really get into their band, it's when I like start to read their lyrics and they're actually saying something instead of like singing about like, oh, my girlfriend left me. Or like, I don't give a fuck about your girl. Everybody's girlfriend has left them. Everybody is that like, it's the most, everybody's gone through it. It's the most general, generic bullshit you can sing right. about. Right. That's gonna like keep everybody under the umbrella and be like, oh, I can relate. Fuck that. Yeah. It's like, I don't give a fuck. I, I want you to like write a song that's gonna make me think about like what I do as a person. Right. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. And to me, Candace writes those kind of lyrics. I like I read her lyrics sometimes and I get like goosebumps. Yeah. You know. And then that's awesome. Man. I'm just some kids get it and some kids don't. Right. Some kids are just like, oh, dude, I love that fucking heavy part you play. And I'm just like. <laughs> It's cool. I appreciate that you love the music that we write, but you should read the lyrics too. Cool. Well, uh, a lot of bands that we play on, we play a ton of different bands on our stations. Everything from, you know, Pantera, Slayer, um, you, know, you guys, and, and a lot of other stuff. But we also play bands like As I Lay Dying, Zayo, um, bands that kind of either now or in the past have had some kind of spiritual significance to their songs. How do you feel about bands? that fuse their music with their faith? I don't know. Anybody can do whatever they want, pretty much. How I feel about it. Yeah. If they want to be religious, that's cool. <laughs> I don't believe in that shit, really. Okay. I'm not, I'm not... I don't look down on anybody for believing in it, but... I, I don't know. I'll end up going on a huge rant. Go ahead, religion. man! No, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, like, talk shit on religion. I don't... Because, like, I understand the fact that sometimes it gives somebody hope, and that if that's what gets them through the day, that's right. awesome, because some people need that thing to get through the day. But for me, I'm just, I wish the whole entire world as a whole just saw this as our shot, and you're not going to a sweeter place. Like, there is no heaven, there okay. is no hell. If you If people really believed this and thought that this was their heaven and this was their hell, they would treat each other better. Right. They would. 
they would value their life more. There wouldn't be like crazy suicide bombers for religious reasons. There wouldn't be dudes that are just quick to fight because they think if I die, I'm not going anywhere. You know, right. like this is my one shot to like do something. And other than that, then I'm I don't know. I'm gonna become like part of the ecosystem again. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking rot in the ground, and then worms are gonna eat me and shit, and then boom, and then I'm gonna feed a tree or something. I don't know. But I'm not... Religion's a weird thing. Okay. I, I, under, I have religious people in my family, so I understand the whole... both sides of it. Okay. Weird subject. Alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, the song... I probably just pissed people off. They're probably like, fuck. I they were no, but see, we, we, I always ask this... I always ask that question, because it's good to have... I like... I just... It, it interests me. That's why. Even within our band, there's, like, people who... Like... The beliefs within our band are so all over the place uh-huh. that we don't have like a stand on it as a band or anything. Right. It's just, I don't know. It's up to everybody to make up their own mind. Okay. Um, the song Revival Never Goes Out of Style. Remember that one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's our rules. Does that song have to do with the way that you all look at the scene as it's becoming too much of a fashion statement or and you want it to, to go back to what it used to be? That's how I interpret it, so I'm yeah, trying to figure out much, your... That's pretty much what it is. It's like, it's more of like just calling people out for um, just how how far like hardcore itself has like strayed from what it what it meant to like me. Right. What it meant to like Candace. Like when, when we all came up, for the most part, Mike is older than us and our bass player Aaron's a little bit older than us. So they, they were involved before we were involved in like the scene in Detroit and everything, but for the most part, me, Dustin, and Candace all came up like in the same time, and in that era, it was like, you had to have something to say, like, people would not, like, we, we as, even us as the kids of the shows, would not put up with a band that was going to get up there and fucking be bullshit, you know, we would just be like, fuck this band, they're not saying shit, you know, and then, whether or not you respected their, or whether or not you back their opinion, but you always, like, respected that they had a view on something, like, there were bands at the trial that would come and just, dudes would talk in between songs, and the sets would be, like, just as much talking as there was music, and, like, they were, they were actually trying to, like, teach the kids at shows, like, what, what was up, whether it was, I don't know, their view on, like, animal rights, or their view on, uh, like straight edge being sober right. their view on violence at shows or their view on like it was just weird even even then like kids I when I first started going to shows bands like Sick of It All would stop if like a kid jumped off the stage and dove feet first and you'd be like yo you don't dive feet first cause you're gonna fucking kick someone in the face and that's gonna fuck up his face and like everybody it was more of like a scene of people like teaching and you're like learning new things and next thing you know I'm like buying a book on Iraq and learning like stuff about sanctions and you just like it was almost like an educational thing and there's people that hated all that aspect of it but back when I got into it that's what it was it was just like these are the reasons why our world sucks and these are what you need to do to fix it and whether it's drug abuse or it's rape or it's like every possible subject that people would sing about and make sure that before they sang the song that you knew what he was talking about and whether you backed it or didn't back it, you had that would, that's like up to you, you know. Right. And then somehow, as soon as 2000 rolled around, there was a huge shift, and dudes got fancy hair, and then uh, all of a sudden songs were about fucking girls. Right. And now there's a problem with the backlash with all the fashion type bands mm-hmm. that came out. Is now everybody's doing the like tough guy thing to like combat they're like oh well, you wear tight girls jeans well check me out now I got gold teeth you know <laughs> and not that I'm like against any of that because I got friends with gold teeth I got friends that wear gold or girls jeans you know it doesn't really matter but that whole song is just like it was pretty much about how nobody has anything to say anymore and right. whether whether you're anti-fashion and you're like uh, gold teeth wearing like kind of like hardcore kid that's like I listen to real hardcore you could break it down and be like dude you wear dunks you fucking got gold teeth you're you're your own fashion you know so you're just as guilty as the dude you hate and both of you guys are not saying anything anymore so it just kind of 